Hi guys, welcome to another audio video. And I'm reading 1 Corinthians 7 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Now concerning the things whereof he wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise unto the wife, unto the husband. The wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband, and likewise also the husband hath not power of his own body, but the wife. Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your inconsistency. But I speak this by permission, and not of commandment. For I would that all men, even as I myself, but every man hath his proper gift of God, one after his this manner and after that. I say therefore to the unmarried and widows, it is good for them if they abide even as I. But if they cannot contain, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. And unto the married I command, yet not I, but the Lord, let not the wife depart from her husband. But if she depart, let her remain unmarried, or be reconciled to her husband, and let not the husband put away his wife. But to the rest speak I, not the Lord, if any brother hath a wife that believed not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. And the woman which hath an husband, and believed, believeth not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases, but God hath called us to peace. For what knowest thou, O wife? whether thou shalt save thy husband, or how knowest thou, O man, whether thou shalt save thy wife? But as God hath distributed to every man, as the Lord hath called every one, so let him walk, and so ordain I in all churches. Is any man called being circumcised? Let him not become uncircumcised. Is any called in uncircumcision? Let him not be circumcised. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing but the keeping of the commandments of God. Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Art thou called being a servant? Care not for it, but if thou mayst be made free, use it rather. For he that is called in the Lord, being a servant, is the Lord's free man. Likewise, also he that is called being free is a servant, is the Christ, is Christ's servant. Ye are brought, ye are bought with a price. Be not ye the servants of men, brethren. Let every man wherein he is called therein abide with God. Now concerning virgins, I have no commandment of the Lord. Yet I give my judgment, as one that hath obtained mercy. Of the Lord to be faithful. I suppose therefore that this is good for the present distress. I say that it is good for a man to be so. Art thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loosed. Art thou loosed from a wife? Seek not a wife. And but and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she hath not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh, but I spare you. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none, and they that weep as though they wept not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy 
as though they possessed not, and they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. But I would have you without carefulness. He that is unmarried careth for the things that belong to the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But he that is married careth for the things that are of the world, he, me, how he may please his wife. There is difference between, also between a wife and a virgin. The unmarried woman careth for the things of the Lord, that she may be holy both in body and in spirit. But she that is married careth for the things of the world, how she may please her husband. And this I speak for your own profit. No, not that I may cast a sneer upon you, but for that which is comely, and that ye may attend upon the Lord without distraction. But if any man think that he behaveth himself uncomely toward his virgin, if she pass the flower of her age and need so require, let him do what he will. He sinneth not, let them marry. Nevertheless, he that standeth steadfast in his heart, having no necessity, but hath power over his own will, and hath so decreed in his heart that he will keep his virgin, doeth well. So then, he that giveth her in marriage doeth well, but he that giveth her not in marriage doeth better. The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth, but if her husband be dead, she is at liberty to be married to whom she will, only in the Lord. But she is happier if she so abide after my judgment, and I think also that I have the Spirit of God. Alright guys, so in this chapter here, we see two opinions being shared. We see where the author's opinion is being shared and where he speaks that God's opinion is being shared. So he, differenti he makes a differentiation between him speaking and the Lord speaking. So guys, this distinction is made so that we know where the author's voice and the Lord's voice is the difference so that we know what is an opinion and what is actual facts as ordained by God. And we see here that one, a few things. One, it is better for you to marry than for you to sin and burn in hell. That's what it means. It's better for you to marry than to burn, right? And also, we see that something very fundamental is proven here. The fact that if you are unmarried and you actually present yourself to God, your virgin present yourself unto God, then you're attentive to God and God's will. But if you are not and you decide to have yourself a husband or wife then the Lord is not displeased with you it's a choice and he gives you that choice to make it's free will so if you so choose to marry or so choose to remain a virgin right living according to the will of God then that's your take as well and we see here where also the author tries to give his opinion and it's for you to decide if you want to go along with that opinion if you're also if you also share that opinion or if you're opposed to that opinion because you need only listen to the voice of god the voice of god will teach you right so you need not be taught by a man how to think the holy spirit will lead you and guide you right so guys, I'm going to just leave that right there. So please remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.